Welcome everyone to Jonas with Justice Commentary. So we're going to to a video entitled Tobo Longtail Riverboat in Thailand and I believe it is a foreigner who went ahead and had, had its experience or went ahead and took on this boat ride. So we're now going to react to his video in regards to his experience. Experiment. Our experience. <laughs> Thank you so very much for requesting this video. Subscribe, like, and share if you want me to react. Leave a comment below. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead and check out this video. Oh shoot! Oh, <laughs> oh shoot! Today, <coughs> the floating market. And sadly, his video don't have Thai sub um, subtitle, but the video itself, we reacting will have the Thai subtitle. But not me. <laughs> Of course, foreigners come to Thailand to experience Thailand and to I'm see what it's like. I was invited to go to a race shop, but not the type of race shops I've taken you to before on this YouTube channel. Ooh, wow. That's a very close to the river. The shop we're going to today specializes in building these traditional long tail Thai river boats. Wow. But with a little twist, they put giant turbos on them and actually race them. So, so they put a giant shop um, and possibly engine, take me for a ride in one. giant engine so on this long boat. So that's what they say. So basically, they put giant engines in engine on this long boat. I holy cow! Whoa! This guy is like what a garage! He's like one of the fastest. So that's where they're making it. He's saying no, that's where they're building the engines. The turbos. Wow. Oh, wow! Is for sale? Oh, you mean they actually use real so engine we, from vehicles? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. So he has a lot of engine. Do you make this here? You make it. Oh, he here? makes it. How long it take you to make this? He asked him how long it takes to be created. Four months. It takes four months to make this. Wow. Four back months. In the day, way back uh, before this country was really developed. If you lived along the river, this is how you got from point A to point B. Yeah, the boat was just long ago in Thailand. Everyone lived on the they river. They lived on the river in Thailand. I guess, and I believe that is why Bangkok is so very productive. It started off of this, the river. There's a big river or waterway in Bangkok. Passing through the like so it was a good way to try and travel. They can't leave anything alone. They have to modify everything, whether it be a tuk tuk or a motorbike or a GTR or a super or a riverboat. They can't wow. leave anything stock, and I love them for it. Yes. So they're saying on the normal. My river, gosh. The propeller is aluminum, but I guess this isn't strong enough for the racing boats. So on the racing boats, they have to run this which is stainless steel stainless steel for the motor wow that is so this one is a 2.8 liter two point <laughs> turbo diesel Zuzu with a whole set turbo i mean that's generally i guess the recipe for success here is a zuzu turbo diesel big whole set built motor all the boost makes wow. sense to me it's fantastic if you notice the the, 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 the boat itself have an extra tail at the end i guess that's just, that is to prevent it from going too high up you'll notice all wow. of them have the exhaust cutouts are like this <sighs> this is like signature of his shop wow that looks absolutely oh, crazy, like that. but yeah. amazing. I saw three videos where they, they had the so race. Just asking them this how is much it cost to build one of these. Okay, boats. he's going to tell us the cost. Maybe I'll sell my Nismo Z and buy a turbocharged <laughs> Thai long tail riverboat. That makes sense. Anyway, how much? So they said it was about 600,000 baht for a 600,000 baht built, ready to rock, ready wow. to race, which is about. 20,000 US dollars. Wow. Oh. What kind of dog is that? <laughs> it's a dog. Not a dog. <laughs> a dog. Okay, so check this guy out. Oh what my is gosh. This is an Azuzu. liter in Let me just convert it to see. Charge. Uh, yeah, yeah, it should be. Uh, let's see. The turbo's over there. Oh We're going to ride on this gosh. thing. Gosh. Get some boost in it and roll some coal. This is going to be so insane. It's quite insane. <laughs> 400 horsepower. 400 horsepower. And how much? Boost? Wow. 60 so 600,000. 
tight by. This because I think this is pretty much the first time a foreigner's first time a foreigner experience. Human experience. That's what they say. Okay, so it's nineteen thousand US. Yeah, he was correct. About twenty thousand US. Up. Wow. <laughs> oh, that shit looks cool. Wow! In the one thing, the engine looks so neat. This looks neat. Wow! Well, that's your tail. Oh my God! My brother, you've not even started us yet. That thing looks like it can go so, so powerful. <laughs> but I don't understand. What exactly is he using to accelerate the engine? The, the long handle? Mike, we cannot hear you. We cannot hear you. <laughs> Your voice is just going into the wind. <laughs> So, can these engines be placed on an actual traveling boat, a commuter boat, or is this only allowed on these boats for sporting activity or sporting reasons? Wow, this is so, so cool but so scary. Gets me back. <laughs> oh, wow. I would love to actually try to turn the engine myself. But then, no, because you look like you have to be very experienced in balancing it. If you do it wrong, done. So you have to be experienced in balancing the boat, it looks like. Wow. Imagine having very long hair and your hair is in the wind. Wow. So look like that pressing it down, it will accelerate. Pressing it downwards will cause acceleration. My gosh. You have to be all sort of ways holding this to ensure that the boat don't tip over oh, or flip. Man. That's amazing! <laughs> that was amazing! Wow! No, for real, can, is this engine allowed on boats where um, they can travel with it? Not just for a sporting event, but actually, not just for racing, but actual moving or commuting. That was amazing. I cannot wait to visit Thailand. I must go on one of those to experience it for myself. Man, that was... That was something must I have been never, super excited. I will never forget that experience. <laughs> it's actually pretty fast. Of course it is. But it's very cool. The design is nice. I wonder how heavy is that? How heavy is the engine? Whoa. This thing is sick, dude. That was a blast. Shh. I haven't had that much fun in something with a motor in a while. <laughs> that was hilarious. If you're enjoying this video, please do me a personal favor and make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube Yes, go ahead and subscribe, guys. The link will be in the description. It's not sustainable much longer without a channel sponsor or some type of real advertising revenue that comes from views and channel traction. Wow. So help me out. Go ahead and subscribe. Check out his channel. And make sure wow. And of course, if there's a way that you can contribute, go ahead and contribute to him it's also. This entire area, like, People live here. People underwater live own this river still. This is still a thing. By the way, um, real Thailand. As persons living on the riverside, right? They're living on the riverside up. itself. All During storms, the river would it cause damages? 
Why? Because in the Caribbean, if you're living close to a river, unless it's rainy season, hurricane season, the river comes from the mountain, so it really rushes down. But I'm trying to wonder if the water only rises in Thailand and not flood. As everyone is living on the riverside or close to the riverside. Let me know, of course, in the comment section. Thank you, guys. Good luck. Bye bye. Headed back to the car and going back to Bangkok. Wow. <laughs> that looks beautiful. It must be nice living on the riverside. Once it's not flooding, you get to and through quick. I'm quite sure traveling by the river is much more. Thank you. Uh, like it's quicker this guy's awesome. than vehicles. I love here and I'm sure it is. Like this, man. They're so nice. They're so wow. welcoming. And they're just happy to show you the culture and awesome and amazing Thailand with awesome and amazing people. Thank you for requesting this video. Subscribe, like, and share. Okay, guys, thank, thank you. you so Bye, guys.